Okay, Vita here. Thank you for visiting deep. What's the name of my channel? Hold on. Dig Deep Tarot by Vita. Thank you for visiting. I am Vita and I'm checking in on the energies today for the collective. See what the angels, the guides have to say. The energy's been really heavy. Yesterday I felt great. Then I slept kind of weird. Woke up at weird times. Heard some thoughts about the cavalry coming in, and then, uh, I don't know, I kept thinking about assumptions and how so much trouble starts just from people making assumptions about things. So I'm like, let's see, let's see what the cards have to say. Start with the Starseed Oracle deck. What do you have to say? Nothing's coming out of my... I like it when they pop out. I don't like to pull them. What's the guidance for today? Ooh, okay, here we go. Deep cellular healing, actress energy, physical and emotional healing. Wow. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, Visionary inspired ideas. Those are really two amazing cards to come out. Look at the picture of this. So pretty. Inspired ideas. Being a visionary. After healing, after deep cellular cleansing. It's like the looting or the pro whatever. The stuff burned. It burned all over the place and fire is transformation right and transformation is healing so for a lot of us there's a lot of physical and emotional healing going on Let's see what the tarot has to say from one of my favorite angel decks healing Interesting. Oh, well, look at that. The sun. Another card, literally, of healing. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Um, it's masculine energy. These are cherubs here, which are unnamed angelic beings guiding all of us. It's June, summer months ahead. You know, and there's something about the warm weather and the sun that really does spur on big thinking being a visionary right now literally on my Facebook page I'm seeing so much energy bustling energy working hard people coming up with new ideas starting new businesses introducing new product lines it's just it's it's amazing and that's what we always have to remember no matter what in the hell is going on if you can maintain your own vibration keep it high sunset Keep it high. You can get through. You can ease through. You can shape shift through some of this heavy shit that's going on around us. You can. You can. You can control what's in your in your field. You know. All right. I don't know where that came from. Just kind of a tangent. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. I get this card all the time. Creative, new beginnings. Passion, soul, energetic, new starts. New starts, new beginnings. After a lot of cellular cleansing, emotional and physical healing. Let's see. We're always healing, right? We're always healing. 
Oh. Page of Pentacles. Someone might have a message. Oh, look at the little fella. He's cute. Messages, communication. Six of Pentacles. Working together, balance, King of Swords. There goes that Aquarian energy. I tell you, I'm an Aquarius. I guess, you know, King of Swords has clarity and he is operating from a very high position of authority and he's making decisions based on intuition, observation, inspiration after maybe receiving some messages. Let's see what else. Yep, then I say, look, the strength card, Leo energy. I was watching a reader this morning and she pulled, I'm not sure if it was the strength card, but it was Aquarian Leo energy and I'm seeing that all over the place too. I don't know what is going on because those are polar opposites. My brother's a Leo. We do not get along at all, but I see this combination everywhere right now. So, yeah. Full moon coming too. June 5th, full moon. Is it strawberry moon? Whatever, it's gonna, it's gonna bring some stuff. It's gonna be a little drama, I'm sure. Oh, and as soon as I said that, what do we get? The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I saw a license plate yesterday. I can't remember it exactly, but there had to be at least eight. No. At least four or five eights on this dude's license plate. And I was just like, there is the money. The money is coming. It is about, it's coming. Somebody is about to get some coins. Somebody's getting some coins. Definitely. Fortune is coming for a lot of folks. It really is. Even if it doesn't seem like it, the wheel is spinning. Mm, 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 mm. Full at the bottom of the deck, taking that leap of faith. Taking that leap of faith, taking that vision, taking your vision and melding it and really getting it to where you want it to be. Oh, Three of Cups, reunion energy, celebrations. And look at this, look at this. All of these beautiful beings are on their toes. Their, car, their cups are lifted. Cups, that's uh, water, love. Oh, I'm so loving this reading right now. Pull a couple more, and then I'm going to use the, um, my favorite, my other favorite deck, the Light Sears. One more, one more card. Please and thank you, Spirit. Two. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, seeing this card everywhere. Bossy, Mr. Bossy Pants, the Emperor. It's Mr. Bossy Pants. He's got his strength, so he's making he's making an appearance. He wants to be seen and he wants to be heard. There's a lot going on right now all across the country when it comes to authoritarian tendencies and behavior. I don't want to get too political. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So on the shadow side of this energy, of emperor energy, you know, you've got someone that really just takes their authority way, way, way too far. But we're going to keep this upright in the light. Hermit energy, going on the journey, going on that spiritual journey. But check it out, he's got the sun already behind him. You got the sun here. And then, the bottom of the deck, we've got this giant pinnacle. 
Ace of Pentacles, material world, grounding, grounding things, taking your thoughts, your visions that have come from the Most High and bringing them down into a position of significance and growth and, you know, all that good stuff. And the angels are guiding it. The angels are guiding, guiding this. So, good fortune. Good fortune. All right. Let's see what else is there. I hope you guys are getting through your week sanely and they're really, you know, you're in a good spot. Queen of Wands. Miss Thang. Miss Fiery Spirit. Spirited. Queen of Wands. Look at her with her black cat. Celebrating, no doubt, a victory of some sort. After maybe a period of isolation, not getting enough sleep. Dreams that weren't making sense. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Sleep, no sleep, because the memories or whatever it was in the way, 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 way back there that you can't stop thinking about maybe causing a little bit of sleepless nights, but that's okay. Let's see what else comes out. Oh, King of Wands. Counterparts. Counterparts, what are these two up to, Mr. King and Queen of Wands? Let's see. Then I think I'm just going to click off, see what I can get into for the rest of the day. Oh, that old Four of Cups. Not happy, dissatisfied. Hmm. Well, why is this here? Let's see. Eight of Swords. Stuck energy. Alright, let's keep them moving. Why is this Four of Cups here? Oh. Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Separation. Being left out in the cold. Somebody's been left out in the cold? What is going on? What happened? What just happened? <laughs> We had the sun. Now we got somebody left out in the cold and they're dissatisfied. It cannot be these two, can it? Let's see. Pull some more cards. Why is this five of pentacles here? Oh, King of swords. There's that Aquarian energy again. Got them already out here. Here he's writing something, right? And here he's deep in thought. So maybe you've received something in writing. Maybe you're writing something to someone. Maybe you're wishing to communicate something that you haven't yet after a lot of contemplation. And then maybe once the communication is open, these two cards of not feeling your best will taper off. Let's see. <clears throat> it's also eclipse season, so we got, wait, eclipse, and I think there's still, yeah, like retrogrades, there's still retrogrades going on, so, you know, you're going to have a little mixed bag of things happening. It's what it is. It's always what it is. All right, last three cards. King of Cups. Eight of Wands. Fire. Energy. Wands wanting to travel. Communication, wanting to communicate. Communicate what? Communicate love, maybe. Why? Because it's being divinely guided. It's being healed. Things are being healed right now. And that's 
because this is a star card and this is Aquarius energy once again. You see the star here? We've already got the sun and the first card out was about healing. And we end it with healing. <clears throat> so, that's really something when the cards just, you know, take you on a ride. And it looks like that's what's happened here. We've got five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's, you know, obviously, 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 there's conflict going on. Five of swords is mental conflict. Swords are mental thoughts, air energy. Look at him. He's holding his head. He's exhausted. He's exhausted, but maybe that's because he's still healing, right? Because then after that, we got the king of pentacles. I like him. He's kind of cute. I like his dog, too. I, I could hang out with this dude. I could hang out with him. And then you got the lovers. Look at that card. Look at the colors. And then you got the chariot. Forward. Okay, last one for real. Last, no, two more. Three of Cups, more reunion energy, soul mates, twin flames, whatever you identify with. It's a lot of celebrations up ahead because Ten of Wands and the Wheel, both cycles of closure. All right. Yeah, see, look at this. Ten of Wands. The girlfriend then packed up her, what's that thing? A, a, I know this ain't no donkey. What is this? <laughs> Wait, it's got horns. It's a bull. That's not a bull. What is this thing? Oh, it's a cow? No, it's a bull. Anyway, she didn't pack up the bull, honey. She is she she didn't pack it up. She's leaving. She's leaving all of it behind because she's healed and there are new be beginnings ahead. Alright, alright. I'm gonna stay.